Okay, this will be a quick lesson on summation notation. So what summations do for us is that they give us a useful way of adding many terms together. So if we were to take this example and write it out in expanded form without the summation, it would look something like this. So as you can see, it's much quicker to write this notation out and let's just go through what this notation actually means. So this big E over here is actually called sigma and it's a Greek letter for sigma which is usually written as this but this is the lowercase and this is the uppercase sigma and this n equals 2, what it means is that the sequence starts from 2 and it goes to 5. So in this case, we have a 2 here, then it goes to 5, so plus 1, 3, 4, if this was 1, it would be an extra term of 1 here, then plus 2, 3, 4, 5. This expression over here stays the same. The only thing we have to worry about is changing the n, because that's the only factor that changes, and we always add the next term. So this would be equal to... One four four plus two hundred sixteen plus three hundred twenty four plus four eight six, and it corresponds to each of the terms up here. So if you add these all up together, they would be one thousand one hundred seventy. And you can verify this if you have some kind of maths calculator that is able to and enter the summation notation. Another use of summations is when we have something going to infinity. You obviously cannot write out uh, infinite amount of terms so for example let's say we have this so how do we evaluate a series that involves infinity well first of all our first term is 50 100 times 1 fourth is 25 100 times 1 eighth is 12.5 and so on until you get 100 times a really small number which is zero so what does what does this converge to? You have if you keep adding halves of 12.5, then half of that, half of that, half of that, you will eventually get up to very very close to 100. Because if you think about it, the first term is 50, but every single other term that is on the right hand side will eventually add up to 50. If you keep adding halves of the previous number until you reach zero, this would equal to 50.